According to the universe's how-to manual, to safely view a solar eclipse, you can either procure solar eclipse glasses, just make sure they're from a NASA-approved retailer, sit atop a weather satellite in space. This may prove difficult, but look at the footage a Japanese weather satellite recorded in 2016 of a total solar eclipse passing over Indonesia and through the Pacific Ocean. Build a camera obscura, commonly called a pinhole camera. The camera obscura is used to view and study light through a small hole. The hole makes sure the light hits a particular spot, bringing the image into focus. During a solar eclipse, a pinhole camera lets you view the action without directly staring at the sun and damaging your eyes. The technology dates back to China between 470 BCE and 391 BCE. Aristotle also wrote about it. He asked why light appears round after passing through square holes. You might notice a similar effect as sunlight shines through the gaps between the leaves of a tree. It turns out it doesn't matter what shape a hole is. Light, in our case, the rays of the sun during a solar eclipse, will bend around the edges of a hole to create a scene of the image. The oldest known description of the camera obscura's principles come from Leonardo da Vinci in 1502. He wrote it down while observing the nature of optics and light. He also drew diagrams of the camera obscura, 270 of them. Others also noticed this and that the pinhole would invert images of light. It's bettered our understanding of the human eye, led to the creation of modern photography, and helped to confirm Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity. Here's how to make your very own camera obscura to watch a solar eclipse. We're going to use binoculars to magnify our pinhole image and allow multiple people to view it at once. Trace the magnifying lens, not the eyepiece, of the binoculars in the center of one piece of poster board. Cut out the hole and set it aside. Attach the binoculars to the tripod. You can either glue a quarter inch number 20 T-nut to the binoculars, which will screw onto the tripod, or simply use duct tape. Make sure the eyepieces face away from the sun and the magnifying lens is towards it. Stick one of the binoculars magnifying lenses through the hole in the first piece of poster board. To make sure no light gets through except through the magnifying lens, use duct tape to seal up the edges. This will ensure the light is focused through your camera obscura. Hold the second piece of poster board parallel to the first so light from the binoculars shines onto it. You can also place it on a stand. If your image is not in focus, adjust the binoculars or move the pieces of poster board relative to each other. Happy viewing!